Good morning, Internet. Who's idle? Oh, I need to build a suit dock repair thing. But, uh. Anyway, good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the cute cesspool. And somebody's trapped, because of course you are. What do you have? Uh, this is not what I was going to talk about, but give me a second. Let's do that. Yeah, you, you see this stuff that I just said is priority nine. How about you do the priority nine thing? All right, now my dupes are out of there. Uh, yeah, solar over here is awful. So I need to continue this across. And then I can put a ladder down like that. Now I took out that ladder and then I can extend like that. Yeah, like I put up some solar panels and I'm like, yeah, my batteries are still dying and I'm going to need an exosuit for it. Anyway, welcome back to the ice planet. I learned something new. These have an overheat temperature. They're made out of neutronium. How do you repair them if they have an overheat temperature? <laughs> so we're going to try not to cook those off. You know, there'll be lots of... Blah, blah, blah. But now what I need is an exosuit forge, which is going to have to run off of... But hopefully meteors don't land here. Yeah, I think right over here is perfectly fine for now. This whole thing's just a mess. So to power all these, I went back and uh, have this hydrogen generator run with transformer to top off the batteries. And I don't think this is working. Way up here. Yeah, this one now survived. I had it over one and it got a direct hit. But yeah, they get whacked with some... Regolith, they're hot, but they're made out of thermium, so it should be fine. I mean, they don't get all of it, but whatever, I got the power. Oh, and I should probably put in some bricks above their heads just to help out with the radiation. It's uh, not happy over here. Okay, perfect. That, that worked. They were able to complete that. And so now we get to top off all the batteries and the solar kind of helps. All right, I'm going to drink my coffee. We'll get that finished. And then over here, I'm going to keep digging down and this will be the mini base. All right, we are now finally repairing Atmos suits. Very important. I did bring reed fiber and thimble reed. I keep thinking about wanting to keep crash satellites. I think I'll keep that one and I will demolish this one. So, as a source of radiation for charging that up. Yeah, we'll demolish that one. And, oh, I, that should be an iron volcano. I was looking for those. Like, I need a source of power, which is going to be iron volcano. All right, those guys are now a little bit more protected. And I can now do this. And start to work on the base. Ah, uh, new bases are always fun. What did you find in there? Wart seeds. All right. Demolish. And this is iron. There. And now that I'm looking at it, what I think I'm going to do is have the entrance to the base over here give me a bit more room. And then that will be the floor for the temple tear. Opener. Oh, oh, that's just handy. I like it when they're right on top of each other like that. And there's a third one over there. Oh. 
I just might have to try to put all three in the same room. That's going to be a whole lot of steam power. Yeah, I think I should just block this in until I'm ready to use it. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, my dupes are going to be running up and down there. See how much this cuts it down. Oh yeah, that's all sorts of like almost reasonable. Ooh, printables. How are you guys doing? Yeah, why not? So these dupes, I gave them a gym, so whenever they're bored, they can skill up faster. There's a temperature in here. Oh, that's like perfect. And I got like 40 cycles until that's active. You are all nice and cleaned out, and it looks like you are dumping metal. You've got all the gold. Nicely done. All right, back over here, put in some walls, make it look like a base. One of the most important steps when you're building a new base on the ice planet is dump all the, the debris down. So I use these blocks to force the debris off to the side. I'm now gonna force it all below what's gonna be the bottom of my base. So you build that block, you build this block. And all the debris pops off to the side. Nope, not there. And yeah, hopefully they don't entomb themselves. Uh, the skeleton of the base is done. I need oxygen. Oh, God, heating up the water is going to suck. I mean, these solar panels produce nothing. A lot of my dupes are just going to be running on wheels. Yeah, I mean, up here seems like a perfectly fine place to squeeze in an oxygen system. I'll get that going, and then I need a water tank, which is going to be down here, with a tepidizer in it. Uh, this is the one where I want to use the thermo sensor and the timer. And then that will be my pump. Yeah, this is going to take a while. I need water so that I can power up the oxygen system, which means I need power for the tepidizer. So there's gonna be a lot of dupes running on wheels. And okay, that is an idle iron volcano. And a whole lot of temp shift plates. So I think I'll get this all built and then start having the dupes run and run and run and run. All right, and now that the batteries and the ice temperature plates are in there. Because this only runs for a very short period of time, I think the batteries last, actually last a little bit. And now I can focus on the oxygen system, power, and my robo miners that are in a meteor shower. Oh, you really got whacked. Yeah, each time it's only pulling about one or two out of both the batteries, so... Yeah, that should work. Now we just need the temp shift plates to warm up. And considering they're at negative 40, that's going to take a while. In the meantime, my dudes can get to work on all of this. We are getting there temperature-wise. I mean, this is already up to 
One of these is warmer. Yeah, that one. Negative 18. So I think we're going to have my dupes running just a bit more. And I want to start pumping these rooms out to a vacuum. Definitely this top one. The other thing I want is a printing pod. So let's start making those. The printing pod is so I might be able to get a better liquid than water to put in here. As it happens, I sometimes get overzealous on my building and I forget to have my dupes run on the wheel. So, no. Yeah, just up the priorities on these. Next sleep cycle, they'll start running on them a bit more, but we are getting... Oh, you just went dormant. <laughs> I'm like, I was getting free iron out of here. See, there's some 500 degree iron, but yeah, not so much. Well, I, I got a couple to melt. Oh, you... Yeah, I need... I do not want you to pump. until I have a whole thing of water. All right, I'm not sure this is submerged in liquid. Maybe it is. I said you're below. Yes. Success. All right, now I gotta wait for all of this ice to melt. <laughs> uh, one step forward, but now I can dump some water over here. And I moved this generator. Yeah, we need a lot more running. Wow, that water is actually up to 25 degrees already, even though there's a bunch of ice in there. But that's all real close to the melting point. All right, let's seal this in. We can pump that room out and then I can start up the oxygen system. All right, hydrogen storage room is done. We can start pumping water. I want to disconnect that in case some hydrogen comes out the bottom. And turn you on. Oh, all of those temp shift plates melted and I'm about to use up a bunch of water and now I can get rid of this. I've been letting this run so my water got a little bit too warm, but I'm okay with that. Hopefully having this all down to a vacuum helps it separate out better. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's just perfect. I don't even need to dump hydrogen. You can go straight into the generator. What do we got in here? Sure. And you're now pumping hydrogen, which means I can disconnect you. Maybe that was a little bit too soon. No, that was like a couple of kilos. Oh, you know what I forgot? Power for the suit docks. And a door. Yeah, I mean, I don't have enough extra energy to run the tepidizer, but now that I got a pool of water, 
Next is piping to warm up the base. Well, we are backing up hydrogen, so we are doing good. I hooked the pump up to here, uh, to these batteries, but looks like nobody's running on it. So let's put the pump back over there. I was just waiting for this tank to get full so it wasn't draining as much power from the hydrogen, but it looks like we're good now, because that's full. Now I just need the warming loop for the whole base, and then I can work on getting thimble reed. Why won't you let me plant? I don't know. Maybe I just gotta drag some seeds over here. Like, it says I've got them. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah, that was weird. I think because they were in the rockets, it wouldn't let me plant them. But now that I dropped a couple over here, it does let me plant them. Weird stuff. But the oxygen system's doing a decent job of warming up the top part of the base. We'll get a warming loop to heat everything else up. And then I can start focusing on getting actual power out of the iron volcanoes. And the bathrooms are connected. The warming loop is just about full. It's time to move some dupes in. Checkpoint. Yeah, then I just gotta get the fridge in here. I wish there was an easy way of doing this. I wonder if just taking them off of... Why are all those showing up? Okay. But yeah, we've got oxygen. Oh, you should be... Always... And I forgot I have to do this. One, two... I just gotta make a couple, you know, three extra suits and I should be good. Suit iron. And this one we can get rid of. And at some point they will plant these symbol reed seeds. Yeah, I might have, uh, screwed stuff up. Let's undock and have them deliver them to the front where the oxygen is. Yeah, that'll work better. Get the power wire? I did. My body temperature is low, but that should be coming up as this keeps rotating. And we can get rid of that bridge. I am going to call that a successful mini base ish. I suppose getting food in here will also be helpful. But I should have... Yeah, there's food sitting on the ground right there they can come grab. I was worried about priority, but should be fine. And we are actually getting some hydrogen stored up. Very nice. Now it is time to tackle this. I'm just going to open all this up. If any of these are active, then fine. And then I can figure out how exactly I want to tame them. But I know I'm just going to want a nice big area to work with. Now 
probably going to want to get a lot of this ice out of the way. Or I'm going to spend a whole lot of time melting it. Let's see what we got. While we are digging out the iron volcanoes, I think I have to get rid of these ladders for you to have not obstructed line of sight. Still line of sight obstructed. Do I got to go five? Oh, no, I've got solar panels in the way. Well, these are useless anyway, so... Like, I didn't think ladders would block it. You know, maybe it's the big things I actually put in the way. Alright, now we can charge it up. But I want to get power from these iron volcanoes first. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get the fourth one in there. I'm like, these three I can definitely get together. Trying to get that fourth one. I don't think that's going to happen. But I definitely need... Some insulation. Yeah, and then over here I can do... a liquid lock to get in there. And we'll take out a lot of this stuff. Yep, not five, four. I mean, I don't think I have... I guess I have a bunch of igneous rock. I mean, the granite's going to give off heat. Oh, we even have some mafic. The problem with granite insulated tiles is they suck. But I'm surrounded by ice anyway, so who cares? And then this will be all the steam turbines. Yeah. You guys will dig yourself out of there. I didn't bring over any steel, but I did bring over a whole lot of thermium. So I should be good on that front. I guess that floating in midair is fine. And then I'm going to need a thermium. Aqua tuner. Yeah, I might need a ladder. I think using some thermium pumps to clean out the air will work as well. Oh, now that just looks like a right proper mess. But I'm thinking with three steam turbines, I can run a big power wire. And then use transformer to power everything inside of here. Let's see how I mess it up. The joys of trying to build a vol metal volcano tamer while the volcanoes are active. We've got steam and then it's going to immediately be killed by all the other cold stuff around here. But that's fine. I'm hoping it'll melt the polluted ice so I can get that out of the way. What I might do is put in one more of these, just in case any material gets kind of destroyed in this area. That can help pick it up. I had no idea there was brine ice in here. Wasn't even paying attention to that. Yeah, we've got brine as well as polluted ice. Okay. Yeah, 
and start coming down over on this side just to see the bottom of the base. Even with six really good dupes, four really good builders, this stuff just takes a long time to get done. And then I finally got Stinky to put his hat on and gave him the field researching so he can help analyze the volcanoes. Not that it's hugely important, I just want to know what's in there and know when they're going to be dormant. So we got most of the rails done. Now we're just waiting on piping and wiring. Well, Stinky, how about you go do the one that you're not standing in molten iron? Ah, uh, dupes. So that means I'm going to need a med cart. Triage cart. But we are almost ready to start turning stuff on. I think I want to start this off on hydrogen. So let's get a hydrogen. Generator put over here. I just need some power to get all of the material out before I can actually start making steam. And I should have convenient hydrogen right here. Something like that. Well, you should be fine now. You're standing in water, dumb butt. All right, Stinky, I think you've been scalded enough times. Come take a break. That is ice, right? Not sand? Okay. All right, so I want these to be off. Where's the switch? It's in there somewhere. Yeah. I really do want to get the research done first. All right, let me focus on getting these analyzed, then we'll get this all turned on. Okay, so I can turn you on. Well, we're already at seven kilograms of hydrogen, that's great. I don't have any automation on these. So as I can just do it manually. I've got huge batteries. Okay, and you, we want. I don't have any power. Why don't you have any power? Because I didn't hook up the power. Makes sense. I really wish it wouldn't open this stuff. You are below 150. Really? I thought there'd be a lot more stuff down there for it to pick up. Okay, so now I want polluted ice. Come on, where's liquefiable? Brine ice, carbon dioxide, polluted ice. Now I want to seal this in. Same thing with you. We want liquefiable polluted ice. OK, 
Because getting polluted ice out of here first is the most important, and then I can start to get everything else. And these are full. Maybe I should put a smart battery in here. How? Anyway. And it looks like I am, of course, getting way over time. But yeah, there we go. We're now getting stuff out of here once it's all out of here. Hopefully by that point I'll have these analyzed and I'll know what I'm working with. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Building these mini bases in Spaced Out is just one of those things you gotta keep doing. But another triple metal volcano tamer. Maybe these will keep up. Maybe they won't. 